What's going on boys? Welcome to another in-depth series. Today I'm playing Ari. Uh, first of all, I haven't been around for a while guys. I've just been over in Indonesia, in Jakarta, doing some reporting for my uh, university degree. So I just haven't been around. Um, but I'm back now, back for good. Hopefully get pumping out some more content. Um, just going to be starting off with an in-depth, uh, just basic. Later on I'm going to be getting uh, Challenger and 3 Talon out, should be good. And then some other videos. So with Ari, I, I just love a nice hard push early on. There's not many champions that can uh, really like match your hard push. And you can just do like shit like that and you just fuck, you just cuck them. There's nothing really they can do and you can just look for a level 2 kill if it's there. Um, more card, get a bit of zone on. I don't know what, a, like, I don't even know what a Morgana does. Like, it might be okay, uh, because she can use her spell shield, but other than that, it's gonna be duck, it's gonna be pretty bad. Um, alright, they have a lease in jungle, probably need to respect that, I'll get a ward out, um, after this next wave. Also, just decayed on this account, um, unfortunately. Decayed on my Challenger account to Masters. Uh, decayed on this account from Masters to Diamond 1. So this is Diamond 1 account right now. They still have good MMR, so it's, they're just going to slowly get up again. So I don't really mind. But, on my Challenger account, I've got a 76% win rate on Ari. And I've just been like, Ari's my most played. I've been spamming it to climb recently. It seems to just fit really well into the meta, and you can just... You just always have consistent games where you perform strongly. I'm not. Sh I, I just think that Ari is definitely one of the best solo queue champions right now. If you're a mid lane main, so I mean, what am I like? What I'm doing, anyone can do. It's so basic. I'm just pushing this bitch in. Morgana can't see us on a tower that well because she like, she doesn't have much to set up the minion waves. So I've already gathered a 10 CS lead. Um, I've got to care for her flash into like a Lee Sin gate. That's the only thing that can kill me. I don't, I don't want to play too aggressive without um, a good enough vision or awareness of Lee. As soon as I see Lee though, I'm just going to play up. Let's always check that minimap every 5 seconds. Have a glance down. Even more, like sometimes I just I just stare at the minimap while I'm, just, I'm clicking in lane knowing there's no CS coming up. Um, Alright, so Lee, Lee Sin's bot side. Go on to that top, get, get that top side hug up here. Get another ward out. Up top side, just hug through here. There's nowhere, I can't be ganked. Give a nice little ping off the bot lane. See, it may, it may look like I'm doing fuck all, but really I'm just gathering a CS lead and I'm just gonna wait for my, my moment. Also guys, for the, this playlist, it's just my playlist on SoundCloud, so if you want to know what any of these songs are, it's like the last 10 songs of my, um, my playlist on SoundCloud. What else has been happening? I've just been fucking flat out, boys. It's been, been a bit of a shame, a bit of a bummer. I did my first stream last night for like, probably like two weeks, which is good to get back into it. I love streaming. Uh... Caught up with all the lads that I hadn't talked to for a while. I'm gonna get it back in here. So a lot of people like ask me like, why do I back right now? And I have this really like, I, I love backing at that exact moment. And there's a couple reasons why. Firstly, you've got the cannon wave that comes in. So if she wants to hard push me and try and deny me minions, it's even harder for her. But mostly, now I'm probably, I might even make a, a quick tips video on this. It's that the, when you back at level 5, almost level 6, you back, you get back to lane before your opponent. So I know I'm going to be back before this Morgana. On this wave right here, I get level 6, and I go for a roam. Instantly, when I get back to lane, I go for a roam. Like, it just sets yourself up so well for like a, a really good uh, level 6 gank. So I'm just going to hard push and roam straight away. Because there's going to be a fat, like a fat wave under the tower, so I know Morgana can't follow. And sometimes, like, she'll just, she'll just ping that I'm going to get go get wards out. But I just go straight for a roam. Yeah, 
Easy as that. Back to lane, keep... She's looking for it, I'm not sure. She can't, like, I know she can't kill me by herself, but if, if Lee Sin is around here, I'll die. So it's just not worth it. I always value that, like, just taking, like, even though it's probably, like, 80% chance I live, that 20% chance I could just fuck my lane over, I'd rather just go the long way. Yeah, I think it's always worth going the long way. Just use your brain. Might even look for a flash charm here. Oh, someone here. Hug tops, oh no. Oh shit. Should we get him? Suicide. I don't really care. One for one. Morgana's missing all that CS. One way or another. Look on the map, look what's happening. It's pretty much top lane's winning, um, bot lane. Everyone seems to be going really well, which is great. I just need to keep influencing the map. So my ult is up in 15. I'm going to push my wave and just look for bot lane again. I know that uh, bot lane's really vulnerable. It's a tier Ezreal and a brand. So squishy and just fucking no damage. It's pretty easy, uh, easy setup. This fucking guy is going to take my blue buff. Top side. I don't like at this point, guys. You don't even, you like don't even really want to lane. You just want to hard push and look for the rooms. All right, so they got, they got the pink ward there. They knew I'd be looking for a bot lane priority. Leasing could path straight through here. Oh, unlucky. One thing about Ari is just this sustain, like I'm, I'm full health already. Ooh, fucking tower. I can't get a kill, but I can push out under tower and get a lot of, um, well I probably can get a kill. Like right now, I can get a lot of tower damage, which is going to help me get first tower. On these champions where you're hard pushed, always have it in mind, like, you, you really want that first tower. Want that first brick gold. It's actually just juking, like, downwards like that. Did Lee Sin die? I think it was right. Oh yeah, no, it was Lee. Ah, uh, level 9, this is perfect. Level 9 is where on Ari, you can, if you like, if you Q, you just get the one shot on the backline minions, and it's such an easy push. Mm -hmm. Fuck! In the bullshit, boys. Mm -hmm. I wanna stay for my Morello. Like, watch this push here. Such a quick push. The only other, like, champions that are, like, similar is maybe, like, a Victor, maybe, like, a, um... Maybe a Syndra if you're trying really hard. Pretty sure Morgana back here. Got a lot of tower damage. What are you doing, dude? I'm gonna basic, get Morello, get a pink, and I'm, then I'm just gonna look straight for the first tower gold. It's, first tower is like, although they did nerf it by, I think it's 100 gold, it's still so beneficial for your team to get it. Puts everyone in a really good bit, like a, a good spot. That refillable. Get back to lane as quick as you can with those Qs. Follow use that 
and I've watched my challenge in 3 Ari, you'll know. Spamming that Q to get back to lane saves you like 3-4 seconds, which can mean uh, quite a big difference. Turn all. Alright, this is looking like a close game, I like it. He's looking mid. Grand's looking mid. Galio's looking mid. There's a lot of people mid right now, I think. Ooh, that's nice. I couldn't do much about that. Galio get a return kill. Oh, oh, nice. Walk back, walk back, walk there, walk there, walk there. Come on, dude. Very great. Unfortunate. Shit happens. Now, a lot of people ask me, when do I, when do you go Ludens? When do you go Leandries? So for this game, you look at the you look at the uh, the team. Rumble's gonna be squishy. Lee will be squishy. Nobody's stacking MR, so it just makes sense to go Ludens, okay? If if they had like a Maokai, and they had like uh, a mid laner that was was like had it when it went a Negatron or went Merc Treads, I would most likely go Leandris. Keep fresh in his tower. Fucking more. Oh, this Morganus is gonna be so hard to push in. I really need it though. I really don't know how to drop it. We can force three minute. That's fine. First brick. I'll grab top lane farm. Pink ward there. Caitlyn should stay. Pretty sure Caitlyn should stay. I wonder if, like, oh, going Mercs here. I mean, I'm actually, I'm gonna do it. Um, so, you'll see a lot of, like, Mercs on professional mid laners because, against heavy CC or, like, heavy AP. Just because, like, uh, Sork, Sork Shoes are, like, they're good, they're really good. It gives you kill pressure, but Mercs just give you so much more uh, options. So, if I get hit by a stun by Morg, if I get hit by a uh, Rumble Ultimate or Brand Ultimate, it just. Cause I'm like Ari's a pretty squishy champion until you get um Gilly Andrews. Wait, where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh. Give me that cannon creep. <laughs> fuck, that's unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. I really thought he'd just straight line run.
Alright, what do I need to do? I need to start getting... I want I want to get top lane. So I want to push through here. Through here, and then just work my way up, like, through here. And just keep looking for these, t these return gates to the top side. Uh, looks like Caitlyn wants mid, though. So it's more benef beneficial for me to go bot lane to get the side. Lee would take in blue. Mm. Like, I want to be t I want to be mid top side, but it's just not... It's not very good right now. Oh, he took blue. Strange. Push through here, drags in 20, Graves needs to be there. This is like Diamond, oh, Diamond 1-ish, so some of the players are like, their, mi their micro is okay, but the, uh, the, probably the biggest difference between Challenger and Diamond players is like their macro knowledge on when, like, when they need to be places. So like I've got bot pushed in, they should just start it, pull it to there. And I'll be looking for a charm if Lee comes over. He'll most likely try. <laughs> Holy, that's close. I don't believe I can kill this Morgana. How do you go for it? There's no reason not to go for that. There's nothing for me to do, so just take these boys, it's just... I mean, this is what you do. Hold on team. Actually, I haven't influenced the game that much here. My time will come. Maybe. What are we? Oh. Still a little bit, I'm gonna start that refillable. Refillable is good to have in lane, but when it comes to like your mid game, because you have so much sustain on Ari, you don't actually need it. Need to get a base off here. Lease and flash. Lino Flash is good, so Lee Flash. Lee Flash is gonna be 25. About 25. 25, 25. His playmaking ability. Oh god. One more, dude. W, W. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna keep up the split. I wanna just keep. I need to. Bot lane needs to be pushed in. It's either I push bot, or I just push mid and go top. Alright, Caitlyn's gonna push this bot lane. Beautiful. 
Brain, brain flash that, right? You guys got that. Nice, 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 nice. That's what I like to see. Alright, get my Landry's into... Probably Landry's into a Void, I reckon. Uh, Hex, going MR. They got two pretty big MR items. Landry's isn't really enough. My DPS would be maximized by going Void. It's a shame I died there. Alright, let's get my first blue of the game. No, second blue. First blue. No, first blue? Second blue, I'm not sure. God, I want to be top. I want to be top lane right now. God damn it, Galley's gonna grab it. Like guys, it's never good to be sitting with... It's never good to be sitting with my, my, like, my bot lane. Because I'm denying myself XP and farm, and I'm, de I'm denying them XP and farm. You always want to be... Uh, like, if you're not going for an objective, you always want to be in a side lane, or in your own lane, on mid laners. Because you're just going to fuck yourself over by not getting, like, XP advantages. Should have just taken dragon, I think. Can maybe look for a wraparound. Top lane in. They can you can two men. Oh no, they're pretty they're pretty fucking low. I'll miss the tower. An eye wave. He can't get me. I'll be alt in five. Does he know? I'm just gonna back here. I know he fucked me up last time. Cucked me pretty hard. Do that Lucy loop. Push mid, go to the jungle, look for a pick on brand, I reckon. Can I escape? Good. I 
keep having to use my ultimate to escape. Holy mother of fuck. Please live. One flash. 32. 30. See guys, so by going to these side lanes and just creating this, this extra pressure, although it may seem like I'm not playing with my team right now, it's the lead I've gotten over my lane opponent is 100 CS, which is like six kills, um, plus two levels, and it's just it just ensures like it just makes makes the game so much easier. Come like w next time I group, it pretty much just means that my team is at such an advantage when I do group. And I really like doing it because, firstly, I get a fucking pop off because it's just like a guaranteed way to get fed. You feed yourself an XP and farm, rather than like going for kills. I get blue buff. Maybe even go back for it. There's no one that can contest me now. I can solo her. So you, all you want to do is like push up and then just back up. Just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat until someone else comes. And an Ari is just like, what, like what are they going to do? Straight back up. Alright, what a balanced champion, you know? Give me away. It's like sitting in the back line. I don't need to be up far enough to get like hit by any skill shots. In the edge here. Might even just push mid, go to the top. Might as well go for it. Just play the map. There's nothing they can do. We can just close out now.
Well, Gunner might try and flash on me. It's the only thing that I can think she can do to kill me. Fuck, Ari's cooldown is such a good... Like, 30%. Some of my runes, I'm, I'm going to link them at the start. That 10% CDR really does help. I really shouldn't be pushing. Not yet. He's going for the kick. Having fun. CMA skill shots I can dodge. Not a, can't dodge a Lee Sin kick, unfortunately. Just looking at the items, so they've got one, two, two MR items. And I've only got 15 at like I got 15 magic pen versus 60 resist. And then the bases. So like void stuff is just this is a better option. Also, for those of you who don't know, just buy your elixir. If you're going to buy an elixir, you can just buy it in base. And it doesn't actually start until you leave. I used to always save my elixir for last minute, but you can just buy it in your base. And it'll insta buy, like, it'll insta start. Like, watch, it'll insta start as soon as I uh, respawn. I'm so fucking rusty though, because I didn't play, because I, I didn't play for like two weeks. And I just, I've just lost all my habits. My movements, my F keys. I just don't have all my habits. So I need to spam games and I should give you I'll get it back eventually, but it's a shame. Having a break from league is, is good, but going just cold turkey definitely has its downfalls. Looking like GG though, boys. Um, stage, like, I'm gonna be pumping out a lot of videos in the next, like, two weeks because I'm just gonna be, a, I'm just gonna be, uh, in my apartment just doing uni work and just playing League of Legends. I'll be streaming pretty much every day, almost every day at night from probably, like, 6 to 7 p.m. onwards. And yeah, cheers for watching, boys. That's been a pretty, I mean, it's been a pretty cruisy game, but it's been good to talk and catch up and kind of explain what I've been doing, so... Until probably later in the week or even catch, just catch me on my stream, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.